What is going on everyone? How are you doing? This is Yix here of Mag Crypto and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a market breakdown. It's the end of the week, it's Sunday uh, and in a few hours it will be the weekly close. So I'm going to be analyzing a few cryptocurrencies and one request from a member in my private telegram group. Now before I get into it, Obviously, um, most of you will know the news that Joe Biden seems to have won the president uh, presidential uh, seat in the White House. Um, and although you know the um, the liberals have claimed this as a huge victory, you know from a crypto standpoint, I'm not so sure how this is going to um, translate uh, for the market because you know Joe Biden and his and the Democrats are more about increasing taxes and, and spending uh, huge government budgets and less about business innovation and entrepreneurship. However, having said that, um, I, need to get, I need to find the news article, but apparently he wants to get someone into office who is very, very pro crypto. So this could be uh, a, you know, unexpected uh, win for crypto so we'll have to see as time uh, progresses uh, also if you haven't already done so uh, please subscribe to the channel and like this video I would very much appreciate that now with that out of the way let's get straight into it so I'm looking at the total market cap here and obviously we've had a fantastic past few weeks uh, Bitcoin, you know, hitting 16k and the rest of the market slowly following suit. Now, for the weekly close, if we can close above this line, which is a resistance point before around 400, uh, what was the close? 409, 410 billion. That'd be a very, very positive um, indication. However, the thing that I'll be looking out for afterwards is for us to obviously make a higher high, but also to find new support and then consolidate all these gains so that we can push on forward so that's what I'll be looking out for uh, in the total market cap and to be honest that's the trend I'll be looking at um, for most of the cryptos or the major ones anyway so Bitcoin similar um, situation obviously we've you know absolutely smashed through um, some previous highs of 13.8 uh, and now we've hit 16k. Also, it will be, be look. It's looking like we're going to close above 13.8, which is the first time we've closed above this point since you know late 2017 and Jan 2018. So we have not got to this point for for two years, two years and several months. So very very bullish. But again. What I'll be looking for is for us to create a new support level. So obviously we're going to turn around at some point. The daily is showing a reversal already. Um, but for us to turn around and create new support and create a higher high and a higher low. So hopefully we can turn 13.8 into newfound support. So let's see how that goes again as time progresses. I would advise anyone who's held Bitcoin for a while take a little bit of profit you know um, because we might turn around and we might consolidate for for a while so you might as well take some profits and enjoy yourself a little bit not financial advice so let's move on to XRP XRP has been ranging in between these two levels for a while now um, so every time I've covered XRP there hasn't been much change so we've been bouncing in these between the two points uh, the low level of 23, 24 cents and um, 25, 26 cents. So if we can actually break out of this range, then I think that'd be quite bullish because there's been a lot of energy kind of stored up in this little coiling action over here. So if it can break above, then it might be like a, a very fast, rapid move. So that's what I'll be looking out for um, going forward. 
a break, you know, hopefully above, but potentially below as well. Bullish, bullish few weeks for XRP. It was taking a, a very long time. Uh, we were staying in between these these levels for a little while, similar to XRP. But now we have closed above, or we are looking to close above this line of resistance, the upper range, which has stayed uh, the level from August uh, earlier, a few months. Uh, and now if we can close above this, I think, you know, we have a shot of kind of going up, up to 487. Um, but again, uh, short to midterm, I'll be looking for us to find new support, potentially at this high level of 435 but regardless as long as we make some higher highs and higher lows that is the main thing I'll be looking for ocean protocol ocean protocol has been doing very well for the last few weeks um, we have one range high at 61 cents and a range low at 30 cents it now looks like it's definitely confirmed that this is the bottom and we've just closed above this mid resistance level of 45 cents and we're heading towards the upper range of 62 cents potentially if it carries on this way we will break above this um, upper range and start to progress to new all-time highs um, so it's looking very bullish uh, to be quite honest um, so keep your eye on ocean um, I've, I've already packed my bags for ocean so you know um, I might be at, I might add some more positions to it um, because it's looking quite bullish uh, and the project is very strong so only good things will come from this project so the um, members request was regarding Algorand um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you I haven't looked at the project fundamentally this is pure technical analysis only so if you're gonna to talk to me about fundamental analysis I haven't looked at it um, but from a technical point of view um, it's looking pretty good it's looking similar to I don't know if it was Kava but you know massive obviously DeFi bull run it has now retraced quite a bit since the top so it's retraced 64% now it's at a junction uh, you know previous support and resistance it's tapped that support now and it looks to be turning around but I need to see more confirmation so if we can confirm this week this little um, higher, lower low from this point on and then we need to start making some higher lows and, and higher highs so I need to see uh, confirmation of this uh, low point I let's look at the daily time frame but I'd want to see a proper bottoming me out because this still looks like it's got um, potential to go further down and um, there is obviously another trend line in play perfect trend line so it's decent support let's look at the daily time frame so we've got support over here so what I'm mainly looking at on the daily time frame to see if it's actually bottomed out um, and you know we had one tap of this support level but I'm not quite convinced that we've broken out of this um, out of this that we've actually I've not I'm not convinced that we've bottomed out properly um, so we'll have to see as we continue to create some higher highs and higher lows so we've clearly got a, a low a swing low over here and now we've created somewhat of a little high so if we can break this point uh, and then we've got some resistance so if we can break this um, high that was created um, in the last few days and then I'll be looking to break this uh, resistance level as this is a very clear level of resistance even if you go all the way back here you can see this resistance is a key level so the next thing I'll be looking at is for us to break this resistance level and then I'll be more bullish on Algo Rand but it's potential that again going back to the weekly it's potential right it's 
me just back up here. That this point over here will be the opportunity and the support for us to turn around, if not this trend line over here. So let's keep an eye on Algorand and see um, how it progresses as time goes on, whether it's going to break through that trend line and find the next support, or whether it's going to carry on, uh, turn around from this point, close at this level, and carry on going higher. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, that'll be all for this video. Uh, a quick market breakdown. For next week's market breakdown, if you have any requests that you want me to cover, um, do send me a DM and I'll be sure to add that to the list. Um, but for the time being, I hope you got some value from that and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.